Okay. Okay, we're live. Uh, there's a new link I posted on the Facebook, so people can turn that way. So, so there's a new link. I put it on the comments on the video on your Facebook page, and I posted it to my friends. So.
my favorite mem memory my mom shared with me is when she met my dad. She would always smile ear to ear when she told this story. They both met at a laundry mat. My dad was stationed somewhere from the army around here, Beatrice or Fairbury. My mom was in college. My dad asked her what was a good bar to go to and some suggestions. He asked if she'd be there and she told him yes. She ended up going to a different bar. <laughs> when she went there, he ended up showing up anyways. They hit it off and fell in love from that night. The rest was history. My mother had an energy and smile to live every room she walked into. She was the absolute purest person I've ever met. She did nothing but fight for her children and family day in and day out. She lost my father in a car accident in 1993 and never missed a beat caring about for her children. She built an entirely new life for herself, took night classes while working a part-time job, and graduated college. She found a way to always be with my mom and my dad. We never had a huge family. Our Christmases, as long as I can remember, were always just me, her, Jess, and Lynn. Until Dalton came along. Dalton changed everything when it came into this world. He brought us together in ways that I could have never imagined possible. He brought new life into my mom, and being a grandmother was what she was most proud of in life. Dalton's life is a far more challenging than most people could imagine, and she's always had everything in her power to protect him and give him the stability he needed. One of the last things she did was take him to fix the crack screen on his tablet. Until her last moment, she did everything she could to better everyone's life that she touched. My mom never complained. She never made excuses. Never gave up when the odds were against her. She was my best friend. And always behind any crazy idea I had. She was there rooting for me. When I got married, she was there on a spur of the moment. She had an hour to be there, and she told me she wouldn't miss it for the world. When my son was born, his birth took the whole day, and she was running late. She came in the, minute, the room five minutes before he was born. They shared a bond that was undeniable and like no other. She found out she had two days cancer two days after my son was born, and still did everything she could to be there to help me out and to juggle being a new parent. When we went through our custody battle, she helped me find strength at times that I hurt so bad I couldn't get out of bed. She knew how much being a parent meant to me. It helped me fight for my baby time and time again. I'll never forget the look on my son's face when he'd see his grandma Lloyd. He'd run into her house and I'd just scream with excitement. He always liked to go sneak around to Grandma Lloyd's upstairs or ask how her day was. She will always walk by me side by side through my future, through all the good and the bad, the failures and the successes. I'm going to carry her with me. I'll do everything I can to honor her memory and to be the man she would have wanted me to be. She's left me with some huge shoes to fill, and with the help of my extended family built up my friends that I've accumulated in my life, I feel anything's possible. Thank you, Mom, for always seeing my vision, my dreams, giving me a beautiful life, and shaping me into the person I am today. I hope wherever you are, that you are with Dad and you're at peace. And we're going to play a song now. Just walk the line You know you just can't fight it 
Of personal stuff that I was going to say, but I know that my mom was really easily embarrassed, and so instead I found some poems that I think that she really would have liked, and I think that she really would have felt this way on her if she was trying to prepare for her funeral. Do not stand at my grave and weep by Mary Elizabeth Fry. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I'm the silent, unripened grain. I'm the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I'm the swift, uplifting rush. Of quiet birds in circled flight, I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand in my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Life well lived, author unknown. A life well lived is a precious gift of hope and strength and grace from someone who has made our world a brighter, better place. It's filled with moments, sweet and sad, with smiles and sometimes tears, with friendships formed and good times shared and laughter through the years. A life well lived is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure, a living, lasting memory our grateful hearts will treasure. Death is Nothing at All by Henry Scott Holland. Death is nothing at all. It does not count. I've only swept away into the next room. Nothing has happened. Everything remains exactly as it was. I am I, and you are you. And the old life that we live so fondly together is untouched, unchanged. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by the old familiar name. Speak of me in the easy way which you always used. Put no difference into your tone. Wear no forced air of solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as we always laughed, the little jokes that we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let me let my name be ever the household world word that it always was. 
Let it be spoken without an effort, without the ghost of a shadow upon it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolute and unbroken continuity. What is this death but a negligible accident? Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? I am but waiting for you for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well. Nothing is hurt. Nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before. How we shall laugh at the trouble of parting when we meet again. I carry your heart with me by E.E. E. Cummings. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear, and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud in the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than silk and hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. A quote from Winnie the Pooh. If ever there is a tomorrow when we're not together, there is something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is, even if we are apart, I'll always be with you. And then I picked out the song Fly by Celine Dion, and it really fits how I feel about my mom flying with the angels in heaven. Thank you. 
My grandma Lori was a really sweet and amazing person. She was a fun and good. she was always fun and good to be by. She was a really generous person with an awesome personality, and she had the most beautiful laugh. We will always keep her in our heart, and her love won't be forgotten. And here is one of my longtime favorite songs that my grandma would love, and also when I played it in her home. It is you again by Charlie Puth and Miss Khalifa. And we're going to have a moment of silence before we play this song as well, please.
pandemic and all that shit so you know i appreciate you guys all showing up so it means a lot thank you for everyone that's tuned in on the live stream we appreciate everyone that's reached out that's donated that's helped up me make sure i could keep dalton everyone that's collectively been involved in this i appreciate you a lot uh, we're going to go ahead and close with the song of dalton's choice thank you
Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Uh, tentatively, we're going to plan a celebration of life uh, for June 25th on her birthday, as soon as coronavirus stuff is all over. I hope so. Um, so we will post more about that. Um, thanks again, everyone.